Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Primal Groudon and we got Precipice Blades! Let's go! So in my last video you were all telling me you can Elite TM it! Literally I couldn't do it right before I made that video so it must have been somewhere between after editing and where they were allowing us to do that like the first day of the Primal Raids. So here we are, I used an Elite TM and if you had one that was already powered up, well now is the time to go ahead and do that. You're going to definitely want Precipice Blades. When it comes down to Primal Kyogre, an origin pulse it is a strong move but surf just seems to be more on point to be honest uh and if you're thinking well why do they screw over kyogre <laughs> and give it origin pulse and well at least make it so weird compared to precipice blades you got me maybe because it's got surf who knows i don't know not, i'm not trying to answer all nine antics questions here but uh yeah there it is speaking of it i love the way it attacks too how it's like coming up for air gonna go out of the water and splash like a whale it's awesome it's good stuff here reminds me of free willy remember that movie back in the day i didn't get into the number one and two and three and i don't know all i know is i remember the first video i got that that orca necklace and man that was like 92 or something my gosh anyways let's get into the commentary if you do enjoy my videos please give it a thumbs up yes we're using the same team Yes, we're on the rise. Are we going to hit Legend? Well, you're going to have to stay tuned for that, folks, to see where our points are going to be lying. Go ahead and just keep taking a look at my ELO here as we're going to be going through here. So I did have Mudshot for a while, and then I swapped it to Dragon Tail. So we have Mudshot here, and I'm like, you got to be freaking kidding me, right? So as soon as I had Dragon Tail, we had a, a, a lead that, that didn't really mind it, and then I swapped back to it, and now we have, now we want it. Like, oh my gosh. So we're going to swap back to that, obviously Precipice Blades, and we're going to be rocking it here. Now, unfortunately, I did go 2-3, 3-2, 2 then 4-something, and then you're going to have to see for the last one, okay? I'm not showing you every single outcome as far as my points and collecting them. You're just going to have to look at my points here. We do take a look at one collection, and then that's about it. So up against Gardevoir here, are we going to be able to get to the Iron Head? Unfortunately not. We got two shields and a Primal Groudon, and Rayquaza. Obviously, Rayquaza has nothing to do with, doesn't want nothing to do with Gardevoir at all. Okay, so we're going for Fire Punch. It's looking like we're going to be able to pull this off. Obviously, we're going to be shielding this up. we got to be careful for a swap here. And going to farm them down. Go for the Precipice Blades up against this Kyogre here, and they're basically going to take us out. But getting that shield, bring it in Rayquaza. Now, we got to look out for a Blizzard. Now, here's the thing about Blizzard. It takes... A whole half an hour to get to okay you're gonna be out there farming up quite a bit of energy to finally get that off and if you try to bait then it's gonna take you still quite a bit of time to get to it again so we're looking good here shielding up the first one we don't need to call it and I'm loving Rayquaza folks I mean this thing is amazing um, there's really nothing else to say like why not go Dragonite because breaking swipe <laughs> I know I was saying sweep is it really is it really that much of a difference I appreciate all the comments helping out my algorithm for the video with all that but Sweep, swipe, tomato, tomato. I mean, is it really that big of a difference? <laughs> okay. All right, anyways, what do we got going on here? Of course, we got a bad lead. It was really, really holding me down. And now I'm going to tell you something. I was always rising up, and I'm not trying to discredit anybody that I'm seeing here on screen whatsoever, but I'm going to tell you this straight up. As I was rising up, I really did not see an increase of skill at all. Really at all. I mean, it's all about good lead, good swap, good counter making sure you win swap so you can get the alignment again it's algorithm based it is really algorithm based when you're up against these people who are on the same skill level as you somewhat i know i just contradicted myself by saying that but i'm not seeing some sort of exponential explosion of godlike tier skill over here not not at all it's all about a good lead a good swap and you're calling things maybe catching here and there which can help pull you out of a bad situation i mean i'm not going to try to deny the fact that it just that this does require skill to some degree but you know it's a lot about the leads okay i'm not I'm not gonna lie here and you're gonna get the truth out of me right I'm not gonna get it from anybody well you, you can get the truth from other content creators but not likely as much as i want to shout out a couple people i don't know if i even want to give them a second of my time on this channel um even if I think that they're somewhat a little bit honest. I mean, that's that's it. Anyways, let's get into it. What do we got going on here? Groudon versus Groudon, and now we have Dragon Tail. And of course, we want Mudshot here. Right. So, Precipice Blades. Is it... <laughs> it's not even... Is it good? <laughs> is Arizona hot in the summertime? <laughs> yeah. 
a little bit, folks. All right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and bait them here. Let's get a shield. Beautiful. We got a catch right about now. Unfortunately, we did not catch, but they're going to throw anyways. So Preservative Blade still does about um, 40%. Uh, it's not 40. It's I don't know why that it seems like it does more from other groudons, but maybe they didn't hit all the bubbles. But nonetheless, still doing a lot. It's, it, it's a ground move. And we're flying for crying out loud. Hitting Dialga with brutal swipe. <laughs> I was waiting for the name to come up on screen. I was like, what is it again? Swipe or sweep? Okay. Anyways, uh, bringing in the groudon. We're going to let this go. This is definitely not a Draco meteor, just an iron head. Oh, right. Just tickling our groudon. Bringing back theirs, and we can go ahead and go for Fire Punch, which is not going to KO, but our Dragon Tail is really adding up. Plus, we got to threaten them with that. Using up our last shield as well here, and I think we can farm them down at this point. They might get to a Fire Punch because they got much shot. Yeah, that's a little unfortunate. If this is Precipice Blades, I'm going to be heated here. Oh, my freaking goodness. Now, they've either got, I don't know, they've got something, and maybe a Dragon in the back that they just figured it was over water i don't know but they back out we take the win moving it on leading with ground on the entire time this is a counter to ground on except if you have dragon tail like we were describing this is why i have it look at this all right this is freaking mega salamance now i do retreat because i didn't want to get hit i'll just absorb it with our dialga unfortunately i don't know if that was the best play i feel like it wasn't i should have just stayed where i was at but that's okay. They got a Groudon out here. We're going to go ahead and go straight for the Precipice Blades. I mean, we've got Dragon Tail. You're going to have to... What's in the back? You got a Fairy? Oh, Kyogre. Okay. Oh, well, we got Rayquaza. So, damn it. We're going down our Groudon. Oh, that's not great. But that's okay. We're still going to have to play around this now. The... Salamence Mega is very low. We're going to be doing a lot of damage with Dragon Tail, but they're going to be doing that damage right back at us. So here they go. They swap. One, two, three. Taking them out. Beautiful. Can we get rid of this Kyogre? We're going to lower their attack immediately here. We don't care what they throw. We're going to be shielding it up. It doesn't really matter whatsoever. Surf is still going to be doing a decent amount because Rayquaza cannot take a hit. Going for that Surf. And can we get to breaking swipe? And we do. And we're going to be able to take them out. This is why Rayquaza is so great. Because it is countering Kyogre. It's countering Groudon. It's countering some of the dragons. And breaking swipe is just amazing. Next battle met with a Ho-Oh. Thank goodness we have Dragon Tail. So since we are fire, we're going to be resisting their quick move. Oh, baby. Now we got to look out for Earthquake. More than likely, they're going to be running Brave Bird, which is going to be doing a decent amount. But we're shielding it up. And unfortunately, they're baiting me with a damn sacred fire, which is resisted, unfortunately. So we're going to have to let that next one go. I wanted to go Precipice Blaze, but I thought I might get a shield. Unfortunately, they let it go. We could have probably KO'd them because they are part fire. And they're like, they're flying. It doesn't matter. This is Pokemon Go. And now we're going to go ahead and throw Precipice Blades here onto that Gyarados. And they're going to be shielding it up and reach. we retreat into our Dialga. Now, I want to do a quick shout out to somebody named John Kelly. Shout out to you, buddy. Uh, he did take a picture with me in Vegas along with I don't even know how many people I took a picture with. Shout out to everybody. It was such a good time, but he was blocked, and he didn't tell me he was blocked, but he posted it, and he said, unblock me, and then he made a nice little post. It wasn't like, it wasn't negative, All right? Some people thought he was clout chasing, but I can clearly see he, he was a legit fan, and I unblocked him, and not only that, he inspired me to unblock other people. I did make a post on Twitter asking if I should unblock everybody, but reading your comments and thinking about it a little bit more, that's probably not a good idea. There was really some some real racist and toxic and threats and all this kind of stuff. I don't care about the threats because they're empty. It's coming from people who are sitting in their basement getting grilled cheese from their mom. I mean, and they're mid thirties, right? So, and they've got no career, no nothing. So it doesn't really matter, but uh, I am actually unblocking people under a post where if you tag them, Maybe you ask them, you're in a private chat, you're like, hey, Poke's saying he can unblock people. You want me to tag you? Yeah, sure. So they go, they tag that specific person and I'll unblock them. If there's trouble, then I'll just block them again. But so far, so good. So there you go, just explaining that, right? I'm not the worst person in the world, guys and gals. Look, I'm not here to, to be negative, to be angry, to be mean, to, to rant, to, to rave, to all this, to just, you know, whatever you think I am, right? I'm just a simple guy getting along. And if you want to play some bully tactics, I will fight against it. I'm not I'm not going to sit over and roll over. I don't care if there's a thousand of you. All right, I'll pull out the machine gun. I'll go to town. All right, as simple as that. Anyways, we'll leave it at that. Let's see what we have going on here. Primal Groudon up against Dialga. I'm going to go press of his blades and KO, baby. Oh, we got a Palkia in the back. We swap into our Dialga and this legend said, damn it. Keep on rising up, buddy. You got this. I said, all right. 
<laughs> it's probably not what they were thinking, but let's move it along here. Dialga lead, Chef's Kiss, we're looking good here. They're swapping into Landorus, and again, we've seen this kind of situation in my last video where Groudon is going to kind of just want to be in this position anyways. We have a Dialga to handle the Dialga, and we're going to be winning this, and I'm assuming they're going to be bringing it back in so we can do a little bit of chip damage here. Shielding up one Stone Edge because it does do a decent amount of damage, and I'm going to be trying to farm them down here. I did hit Fire Punch. I was hoping it did not register. Beautiful. Now we're going to be able to farm down and coming out of this with a lot of energy. If they bring in a Kyogre. We're not going to be looking great, but we're still going to be looking okay. Perfect. We're going to get a shield unless they have a plan here because this is going to KO. Precipice Blades, getting a shield, swapping into our own Dialga here. Now, what they can do is build up to Draco and then go for that, which is going to take us out and or force a shield. So I do decide to go ahead and shield it up. And it unfortunately is a freaking Iron Head. I'm like, damn, dude, there's got to be a Kyogre in the back or this is a wrap here. So we go for the Draco Meteor, lowering our attack, and we have a Groudon. Now that is going to work for me as well because Rayquaza does counter that completely. Again, we're going to have a blast with this thing. I'm telling you, folks, Rayquaza has been putting in the work. Now you could have a Dragonite in this position if they do have Dragon Tail, or I mean, a <laughs> Mud Shot. Uh, you could have make a Salamance. You could have Togekiss. Uh, never mind. No, 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 Togekiss. I take that back. I forgot it's fire. <laughs> never mind. All right, Rayquaza, let's go, buddy. Let's get it. Now, Fire Punch. They kept going for that. Like, uh, do they know what they're doing? Yeah, they do. Fire Punch still does a lot of damage, and its spam is crazy. Look at this. I mean, one more Fire Punch, and it wouldn't a KO, but it would have been close. Good game. Moving it on to our next opponent. Going to be met with a Mirror Match. Primal Groudon, let's go. Except for they have much Shot. They always have much Shot. And now it just puts me in this nervous position where I'm always going to have to worry about them hitting Precipice Blade. So they get my shield, retreat into a Lugia. Now we're down a shield, and they've got a bit of energy on their Groudon. Just ever so slightly. So we're bringing in our Dialga to go up against the Lugia here. And we've got energy on our Primal Groudon, which is going to be working to our advantage here in a little bit. I figure they're going to probably let this go and they'll just bring in the Groudon and sweep me up. Unfortunately, they're not going to be shielding it up. But hey, we're going to go for another Iron Head. Maybe we can get a shield here. They're letting it go. Beautiful. All right, so we haven't lowered our attack. At least we're going to be able to do that here and get to an Iron Head, which is some chip damage. It's not very effective and it's doing about as much as, I don't know, five Dragon Breaths. But they're shielding it up. Oh, shoot. Did they just shield that up? Oh, baby. Let's go. All right. Swap into Rayquaza because it completely walls it here. And we can absorb these, obviously. Earthquake. Okay. We were running that. So, hey, you're going to go ahead and Elite TM that, buddy. And you're going to be looking good to go. All right. Swapping here. We're going to go ahead and bring in our uh, Groudon up against their Rayquaza. Let's go. But we have Dragon Tail. And this is exactly why we're running it here, folks. You see why I love that thing? Oh, boy. Oh, you're only going to get Legend because of Primal Groudon. Oh, okay. That's right. That's why everybody else is using it too, right? Right, 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 right. No, I'm going to get there because I'm using the same damn team over and over again, like I've described a hundred times in the past. But like a teenager who's in its rebellious mode, just doesn't want to hear what the parents have to say. <laughs> Timmy, you better not go there. Susie, you better not do that. And then they come home crying like, ah, like we told you. All right. So now they told you. So the haters are going to cry. They're going to cry. They could care less. They, they don't give a damn. If I get there, they're just going to say something like, oh, you only got lucky. <laughs> Next battle, another mirror match. Let's go. All right. Uh, they're going to be swapping to catch. Was that a Lugia? Sounds good to me. They were probably trying to catch a ground type move, so that's perfect. Going to go ahead and go for one more Dragon Tail and retreat with a decent amount of energy. But they've got energy too on their ground, so we got to keep that in mind. But we also do have the Rayquaza. All we really need to do is win this matchup here. We're going to let that Arrow Blast go, no problem at all. Going for the Iron Head so we don't lower our attack, and hopefully we get this great. Farm them down beautiful and we have an iron head to throw on their grout on here again it's not very effective but it is going to be some damage better than none all right sweet so of course Rayquaza right let's go they're going to be throwing immediately here let's we'll see what it is hopefully precipice blades yep and look look at that they're doing more look at that damage so the other one must have been lower combat power I wasn't taking a look hitting me with a fire punch I shield up fire punch I'm like ah uh, I don't know that that was a great one there but we're still in it to win it, folks, so let's go. They have a Dragonite in the back, full health. We're going to go ahead and start hitting these breaking sweeps, going for the burp swipe. Just ignore me if I say it the wrong way. It's not a big deal. Sweep, swipe, okay? Sweep, swipe. <laughs> All right, we've got the Groudon in here putting in the work up against this Dragonite with Dragon Tail. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, folks. Are we going to be able to pull it off? Dragon Tail down? Yeah, you already know what it is. They back out. We take the win. We're looking good. We keep it moving here. All right, so we're just going to see Legends at this point, basically, uh, because we're, we're just, we're literally there. We're literally there. All right, so Giratina, thank goodness we have our Dragon Tail pulling up those dragons with our dragon in the back. Love to see it. 
But Poke, he's running this in the front because of uh, Primal Groudon and uh, Primal Kyogre. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> but again, you're, you're not playing a game against skill. You're playing a game up against algorithm. Remember that, okay? If you're doubting your skill, it's not that. I mean, you do have to learn typings, counting, uh, you know, catching and all that stuff. But uh, I think counting goes along with catching, sort of. Look at that. Precipice Blades. But it is a race against the algorithm, really, honestly. Okay, let's be real. If you had a good lead, good, good uh, middle, then you would probably win almost all your battles. It's just a matter of maintaining that. All right, so we're up against Gardevoir. Uh, we get to the Iron Head, but not able to get it off. Damn. But we've got two shields and a Primal Grout on here. So let's freaking go. We obviously can't bring in Rayquaza, or they'll just immediately win here. So I'm waiting for them to swap. We farm them down. We're going to go for Precipice Blades up against their Gardevoir. And we're looking good here. Primal Groudon is just disgusting. Um, again, I think Precipice Blades is a little OP. Just a little bit. Look at the points. Do you see that? Look at that. 30 away, folks. Oh, baby. Let's keep it going. You can't hit Legend Poke. <laughs> Next battle, met with a Zacian. This is a great lead here. It doesn't matter if we have Dragon Tail. But I do believe our opponent is going to be... I don't know. Uh, really trying to pull this crap off here so they go for play rough they've got quick attack so they're actually starting to dig in with that quick move shielding up the damn precipice plays i'm like really boy i mean or man or whatever um uh, another play rough i thought it might be a close combat so i'm thinking what, what, what the hell is this going on you gonna shield this too no let it go okay all right um close combat getting to the fire punch but they quick move you down I'm like, Azacian just beat me. Huh. So, at least we got rid of that. We got two dragons back here. We're dragon breathing them down with Dialga. So, this is great. Bringing in their own Dialga. They're down a shield. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go for the uh, Iron Head here. Hopefully, we get a shield out of them. All right. That's exactly what we wanted here, folks. Now, they can bait me as well in Iron Head. But Dialga is going to have a great time up against our Rayquaza. So, we kind of need to maintain that and shield that up anyways. I was waiting for a catch, but no catch. We're going to go ahead and take them out. Let's just hope that there's something that the Rayquaza can handle in the back. And it is going to be a Swampert, ladies and gentlemen. And that is a wrap. You know it. This would have been my Legend Battle. Okay? I'm just going to let you know. I encountered three Kyogres in the beginning back to back. And when I swapped, it was a Charm user. You, you already know what that is with my team. And I was like, okay, okay. I see they don't want me to hit Legend today. But I was really putting in that work and we're still going to be very close. Don't want to spoil it for you, but you're still going to be able to take a look at these good battles here. Next one, met with another Dialga. This is fantastic for us here. They're going to be swapping into a Lugia. Going to go ahead and go for a Fire Punch and then bring in Dialga, which is going to be kind of resisting their flying. Well, not, it is resisting their flying, all right? So we don't want to bring in Rayquaza. Um because Dragon Tail, and we're just squishy and taking a lot of damage from these moves in general. And we don't really want to stay there with our Groudon because we kind of want realignment with their Dialga, right? So we're going to go ahead and bring in this, go for Iron Head, taking them out here. Unfortunately, we are going to be coming out of that with a decent amount of health, which is giving them a good amount of farm, which is giving them a little bit of an edge here because they can go for Draco. So we're going to go straight for the Fire Punch, which is doing a lot of damage, plus that Dragon Tail. They're letting it go and calling it. And I would assume this is going to be a Draco here. So we're going to go ahead and shield it up. Hopefully, let's see what's in the back. Kyogre, of course it is. Of course it is back there. All right, so bringing in Rayquaza. This is exactly why I have Double Dragon, because you need all that protection from the water when you're running that Primal Groudon, because you're, you're going to go down quick. I, I, literally, you're done. It's the hard counter. So they're going Thunder. We shield it up correctly. Beautiful. Going for drag Breaking Swipe. They shielded up. I didn't hit all those because I wanted extra farm here. And I knew they're not going to get to another Blizzard. And uh, this is a Surf. We've lowered their attack. Okay. Bringing us close. And I hit this here. Did they swap? Is that a... No, they shielded up. We take them out. And immediately swap into Groudon and take them out with a Dragon Tail. We take that win. We're looking good. Keep the notifications on because you don't want to miss me hitting Legend. Thank you for watching and take care.
you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic. It's out of my head. But I'm still in control. It's out of my head. You can never take away. Where you can't, don't. Even if everyone is telling you that something wrong is something right. Even if the whole world is telling you to move. It is your duty to plant yourself like a tree. Look them in the eye and say no. You move.